Hillbilly Days is finally here. Come down to beautiful downtown Pikeville to enjoy all the food, music, fun, and excitement that comes with your favorite festival. If you can't make it downtown, though, don't worry. WPRG is bringing all the action to you live on WPRG.TV and the WPRG Facebook page. You can sit back and enjoy the sights and sounds of Hillbilly Days 2024 no matter where you are. Yee-haw! I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. No credit check, no contract, and most features are postpaid. Right now, take advantage of $75 off select Forward Pay devices and ask about our awesome plans. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Dina's Designs at Dry Fork is now fully stocked with thousands of vibrant flowers and supplies, all at wholesale pricing. Dina's can customize vases, wreaths, saddles, hanging pots, and flags. We have solar crosses, wind spinners, bird baths, and more. Dina has one of the area's largest selections of candleberry candles, tarts, and warmers. Watch our Facebook page for specials. There's so much to see at Dina's Designs. Highway 15 at Dry Fork of Whitesburg. Call 633-7477. Welcome to Broad Bottom Grooming and Boarding, where tails wag and pets play. Our experienced groomers provide top-notch care and attention, ensuring your fur baby looks and feels their best. And when it's time... Kenny, he passed away about 23 years ago. Him and Dirtier and Strat and kind of got this thing started, and uh, daggone, we'll look what it's happened. Anyway, we want to get started here. If I could get uh, Eddie Overstreet's. See, you're close. Can you get up here, Eddie, or do I need to? I'm a coming. Eddie. He had a little bit of trouble, like myself, kind of getting around a little bit. So what I'd like to do, uh, if Eddie could open this up in prayer, I'd really like for everybody to stand, remove your hats. And uh, after Eddie does the prayer, I'd like to do a national anthem to keep standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. So if you would please stand, remove your hats, and Eddie. Please I'd like to greet everyone, and I'm very thankful that I'm able to be here with you this year. Last year, I was in the hospital at this time, having open-heart surgery. But thank God that the prayers that went up, I'm here this year, and let's pray. Our most holy and merciful God, giver of all good gifts and graces, knowing you're too wise to her, and our wisdom is so infinite that it confounds the very thoughts of our hearts and minds. We ask you to bless our festival this year, Lord, in a mighty way. Reach out, touch those that's traveled a long distance, Father, and all those that's local, Father, that you're here this year. Bless them in a mighty way. Let God direct us, direct our officers, Father, as we go through this service here, open it up for heavenly days. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's children said, Amen. 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 This time I like to chair Ferguson. Come up and sing a nice anthem, please. Wayne Rudolph, the flag bearer.
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us, what, rejoice and be glad in it. Let's join together and sing the pledge to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tom. See what old Jerry can uh, tell that Ooh, he's dandy. Lord have mercy. And jerk tears to a glass eye. I wanted to uh, kind of put a little bit of history to Hill of Days. Y'all can sit down if you want to, uh, drink you something cold, whatever. But anyway, this thing got started back in uh, 77, prior to 77, actually. Uh, Shady Grady and Dirtier Hag Stratton kind of did a lot of traveling, and they did a whole lot of parading. They were uh, in the shrine big time. If there was a parade someplace, they would go. And they got this idea that they'd like to have a hillbilly parade. And prior to 77, they kind of got together and they got with Jim Harris, who was uh, the band of the clan out of Iceland. And he said, well, guys, you know, you can do this. Just get the okay from the county judge and the mayor and uh, you, can, you can make this thing work. So. They went to the county judge, which was Wayne King Rudolph at that time, to get his permission to do this, his blessings. Uh, Wayne wasn't too much in favor of it, from what Wayne tells us, and uh, it took him two or three times in order to get it done. But he, he said, okay, if you get it from, at that time, uh, Mayor Pikeville, uh, you had to get the okay from him, and he did. That was William Hamley at that time. So. They had got this thing together and they had this, this little hillbilly parade. The whole thing behind it was we want to be first on the shrine calendar. If we're first, these shriners will come out and be a part of it. That's why you ask many people to say, why do you have it so early in the year? It's because of the shrine calendar that this, this event came about in April. And the first one, for the people that don't know, was on April Fool's Day. And if you remember the great flood of 77, that was it. So we flooded the town not only with people, but with water. But uh, after that one, everything was kind of good. And here we sit, you know, 47 years later, we're parading. And the good part about Himmler Days and, and what, how it works is that people come here and the hospitality of this little town is like something you've never had. So they come and they enjoy it, and then they come back. They come back after Himmler Day just kind of busy. This is what makes this town special, is the people right here. You guys make it a success. You've got everybody on this stage that works toward the hospital and what they do. But if you guys didn't come and participate in it, it wouldn't be a hibble today. So this is a joint venture with everybody in this town and all the people that work to make it happen. But you know, time goes by. Uh, Dad, he's been gone now uh, 23 years. And you know, you gotta kinda of pass the torch. And uh, his granddaughter, Shalebra, she's here with us. And where is my daughter? Anyway, she uh, she's gonna have to step up and kinda of help <laughs> help old Shady Gurdy, you know, get this thing through. And uh, Harry Stratton, his wife Betty, she is uh, not feeling real well. In the last couple of years, Harris had to stay home with her. And uh, you know, you put family first, and uh, that's what our does. But 
If he could be here, he would. And if it wasn't for Betty's help, he would be here. This is very important to him, and it is every year. But Ben, his grandson, he's going to be stepping up and taking a place. So these two people right here are going to have to step up and uh, fill the shoes of the people that have kind of got it started. So anyway, it's a great event, and I'm going to try to get this program started, but just a little bit of history, and if you keep on around, then there'll be a whole lot more history, hopefully, that uh, 47 will turn into 147, somewhere down the road. But with this being said, I'm going to kind of get started with the program, and this person I want to introduce right now, he's been with the Shriners Hospital over 30 years, big part of what they do, and he has taken care of <laughs> who knows how many kids in this area. As of right now, we know that we have over 300 kids just out of Pike County that are going to Lexington Shriners Hospital. And just the surrounding counties of Pike, Floyd, Johnson, North, Ledger, Martin, those, those counties there, we're, we're looking at close to 1,100 active patients. And we've got a guy that really takes care of these kids, makes sure they get the treatment that they deserve. And that was a long time. We'd go to Richmond Road, the old hospital. We loved it. And then they decided they wanted to build a new hospital, and I'll be the one to say that I was against it because I like the old hospital. But they built the new hospital down close to UK Hospital, and went down and got the visit in, and the technology is just so much better. And our kids are going to get so much better care that I said, okay, I can handle this. I'm really proud. But this guy has, <laughs> this I've known him for over 20 years, and he's just something special. Uh, I know one thing, he takes care of our kids, and it's just an honor to introduce you to the administrator of the Lex and Shriners Hospital, Mr. Tony Leagood. Thank you, Jimmy. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here with you this afternoon, and I bring greetings from all the staff and the Board of Governors at the Shriners Medical Center in uh, Lexington. Hillbilly Days is very important to Shriners Children's Lexington. Over the years, over four million dollars have been contributed to allow us to provide the most amazing care anywhere at regardless of the family's ability to pay. Now what that means is that there's never a financial burden to the family when we treat a child. We can do that because of the generosity of you all, organizations like the Hillbillies, and events like Hillbilly Days. Yes, give yourself a round of applause. You deserve it. We currently have 18,000 active patients at our medical center. 1,000 of those kids live in Pike County or surrounding counties, so the money you raise helps the kids right here at home. Hillbilly Days is a perfect example of good people coming together, having fun, and helping kids. I can't thank you enough. In closing, I want to thank you for your financial support. I want to thank you for being good ambassadors for Shriners Children's. Keep up the good work. Have a great Hillbilly Days. Thank you. You know, uh, now this is the first one that I've had here, but uh, now I've got a special person here, Mr. Randy White, and he's from Dayton. And uh, we have our money from Hillbilly Days, and we'll either go to Lexington or to the Dayton Hospital. It used to be Cincinnati Burn Center, and then they moved up to Dayton. And Randy White here, and I'm sorry, I can't say much about Randy because I just met him. But Randy, would you come up and please uh, let us know what all is going on? Well, thank you. I'm a, I'm a hillbilly through and through. Uh, grew up in southern West Virginia working in Dayton at our burn and craniofacial hospital. So Tony covered a lot of what happens, guys. But I'm going to tell you, the power of that fez and what it does for those kids allows us in Dayton to take care of kids from 18 different countries and 26 other different states. So from the bottom of my team's heart, thank you for everything you're doing. And we have not forgot the van that was gifted to us uh, from the, the Hillbilly Club. And it's the simple things like that that mean huge things to us. So thank you very much. You know, uh, 
there's a lot of things that Dayton do. They, they do a lot of constructive surgery, is that right? The, Randy, there's a lot of things they do. There's uh, something I want to mention now, I mean, while, while we're here, but if you have a child that needs help, you don't have to have a referral from a doctor or anyone. Uh, I hope I'm correct here. I keep telling everybody this, but if you're a, a, a parent or a guardian, you can call directly to the Shriners Hospital and you can talk to them about your child and hopefully you can make your own appointment and uh, have your child seen. Is, is this correct? All right, I got the thumbs up on that. I've been saying it now for about two or three years. Just want to make sure, you know, I get it right when you got these people behind you. But uh, anyway, just think about this. If you got a child and you think it's just not walking right, it's three months old and I, I'm concerned, call the hospital, take the child down, have it checked out. If there's nothing wrong, it's fine. Last year we had 1,050 patients I mean, that went for a, a checkup just out of Pike County. So, you know, this is something we need to use. There's no reason why that we have a child that has any kind of problem. That's how that hospital is there for a reason, and that's what we need to do it for. And at this time, I'd like to uh, get our Hibbley clans, uh, Don Cox or you guys. Don, come on. We've got the Greenville Hospital. I'll tell you what, we have some people coming here that I haven't seen before, so. Yep, I'm brand new. Thank Tell you very that. much. Pleasure to be here today. I want to welcome you guys all to Pikeville. Um, not a lot of organizations who have been around for 100 years can claim that their mission at their century mark was the same as it was the day they were founded. Shriners has been able to say that for 100 years. And I want you all to know that are here at this park today, all the hillbillies that are here that have been supporting Shriners Children's for the last century, and since the hillbillies were founded in the 70s, that you are the reason why Shriners is able to stay committed to the mission today that it had 100 years ago when we opened our doors. Over the course of the last two decades in this country, we have had a debate about health care. It's not working. Some people have it, others do not. Well, guess what? At Shriners Children's Healthcare works for our kids. We don't have to be concerned about insurance. We don't have to be concerned about financial status. All we are concerned about is do we have the ability to care for those kids? And the biggest component of our ability to provide health care to children today and fulfill our mission that was founded 100 years ago by a group of men called Shriners is each of you in this crowd. It's philanthropic support that has told us, that has allowed us to say, we're not worried about what the insurance companies are gonna reimburse us for. We're not worried about how much money you have in your bank account. Philanthropy is why Shriners works. Philanthropy is why healthcare works at Shriners Children's. And philanthropy is the reason why our hospital and the Dayton Hospital and the hospital here in Lexington have been able to treat hundreds of thousands of children from every single state in this country and nearly every nation in the world. So thank you very much for coming out to Hillbilly Days here in Pikeville. Please enjoy yourselves and remember you're here to have fun, but you're also here to help us treat kids. So thank you very much. Well, that's good when you got three hospitals here. I mean, you know, we've, uh, I believe we're stepping up. Hopefully we are. Uh, Hibbley Clan? I mean, tell, tell us a little bit about this Hibbley Clan stuff. All money's raised by the hillbillies. Either go to the transportation of children or to the hospital. 100%. That's what we're all about. And I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up and your support. And I'll introduce uh, Roger Morgan, the Imperial Keeper of the Cop. Each year it's my pleasure to let y'all know how much money we've given to the hospitals. Right now we're standing at $13,800,000. So when we come back next year, we are going to celebrate breaking $14 million for the kids. So we want to thank you all for that because that's a lot of golf tournaments and raffles and all the different things that we do. That's all over the United States and Canada. That's the grand and glorious order of the hillbilly degree that we're all part of here. 
now like to introduce our Imperial Guardian of the Steel, Mr. Jody Vodders. Thank you guys. I had a ball down here last year, a lot of fun. Everything you see around here, that's supporting these kids. So spend a little money, guys. Let's have fun this year. Thanks again. Our U.S. Ambassador Matt Porter is here from South Carolina, but he got detained somewhere along the line and he's not able to join us. But the Secretary for Plan 1 at El Hasa Temple, Mr. Roger Price. I'm proud to be here and I'm hoping things are too. Uh, I enjoy being the hillbillies and everything. We made a lot of money. Thank you. It's now my just very large honor to introduce a local man that's done so much for Pikeville and for Hillbilly Days, and he never gets recognized. But he is the band of Outhouse 2 right here in Pikeville. I'd like you all to give a big round of applause for Kent Bartley. Welcome everybody to the 47th Band of Hillbilly Days. I'm short and sweet. Have a good time. See you. <laughs> tell you what, uh, the Hillbilly Clan, they work hard. I mean, they work hard. And uh, the money from the Hillbilly Clan goes to two ways. Either transportation for the hospital. And these guys are responsible for a lot of vans that they have purchased here in this area and throughout the district, throughout Kentucky. But hillbillies, when you see those, those guys out there, they're working either for the transportation or the hospital. So please support them any way you can. Now, each year they have what they call a hillbilly convention. And they do this all over the United States and into Canada and all, well, probably all over the world. But each year they have a hillbilly, international hillbilly queen. And I would like for Carla Parvis to come up and uh, kind of tell us about these hillbilly queens that we have, international hillbilly queens. If you would, please, Carla. Yeah. Greetings to everyone at Hillbilly Days. Listen, I have something important to say. We have a group of ladies that are very important. They raise money, they love the kiddos at the hospitals. And we need to salute them every year because once an international hillbilly queen, always a queen. Let me introduce you. We have several here. I'm going to tell you where they're from and when they served. First of all, Lila Blanton. And she's our, she's, she's our Kentucky girl. She served in 2013-14. Then we have Miss Maggie West. Maggie's from Tennessee, and she served from 2016 and 17. And we have Renee White. She's from South Carolina, and she served from 2017 and 18. And my name is Carla Purvis, and I served 19, uh, 2019, 20, and 2021, 20, 22. And I've been known as the COVID queen because the whole year was shut down and we couldn't raise money. But folks, we worked. And I want you to know these are very important women and don't you forget about it, okay? Now, I want to introduce you to our current international hillbilly queen. Let her say a few words. Good afternoon. My name is Mary Louise Mulligan. And I guess you would consider me a Yankee from Maryland. <laughs> Um, I was very honored to be chosen as this year's uh, Hillbilly International Queen. I'm so delighted to be here. Uh, Pikeville is just a wonderful place to be. You guys are great supporters of Shriners Hillbillies. And just remember, it's all for the kids. So go out and have a great time this weekend and keep us all in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Hard-working crew out right here, I'll tell you. Now I'd like to present the potentate of El Hasa Temple, Mr. Robert Atkins, and his crew. You know you have to start here. Now, if y'all don't know how this works, you become a, a Shriner, 
and then you can become a hillbilly. So you know it's a strider and then a hillbilly. So Robert's here and he can uh, introduce you to his folks. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to the 47th Annual Hillbilly Days here in our beautiful small town of Pikeville, Kentucky, that's got a huge heart. And for the last 47 years, we have raised money through Hillbilly Clan, one outhouse two, to send to the Shriners Hospitals in Lexington, and was Cincinnati night Shriners of Ohio Dayton, but very special. To me this year, the be potentate and from this little town, I think each and every one of you for coming out and making this a special event every year. But I'd also like to ask you to have fun, be safe, and enjoy yourself. Again, my name is Robert Atkins. I'm from a little town called Elkhorn City. Right here, I've got my chiefer band from Proctorville. Ohio, and again, I have to say this real strongly, Chief Urban, because he's, he is my right hand, and uh, his name is J.L. Mick, and also to my left, from Cogrove, Ohio, another one of my extra hands that I've always needed in the band is Mr. John Jones and he has been a great help to me also. Right here is one of the Imperial officers. I also have Jody Botter. He is from Willersburg, Ohio and he is my Oriental Guide this year. Over here to the right got Josh Fields. He is my second ceremonial master from Ironton, Ohio. I'm surrounded by all these Ohio people. I mean, you know. Good luck, guys. Yeah, you know. But also, this little guy back here behind me, and his name is Glenn Tiny Spradlin, and if you're local, you'll know exactly where he's from. He's right out of Mud Creek down here in Floyd County. Yeah! I hope you guys enjoy yourself, and uh, I hope we have a wonderful festival, a safe festival, and I hope the one that's traveling gets home safely. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. We got a guy here, I don't know if y'all are remember here or not, but uh, he's one of them Yankees. Come out of New York. I don't know if y'all been up to New York or not, but uh, New York comes to Kentucky every year. Wayne Rudolph, come up here. Now, if you can't understand him, like I said earlier, he's a Yankee. Forget it. How y'all doing? Thank you to Hillbilly Days. A thousand miles to Tennessee, three rental cars down Back to Pikeville, Kentucky, where it's home. I want to thank everybody for coming. And again, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts to take care of our children and spending your hard-earned money. Thank you again from New York. New York City. Now, did y'all understand that? A lot of them. Now I'm going to give you a guy that, I mean, you know, you've got, you've got to do things right here, you know. So, uh, C.A. Gallon, where are you at, C.A.? C.A., you come up here, man. You know, being in Kentucky, Pikeville, Kentucky, you know, we like, we're like in the middle. So we get them out of New York, and then we go all the way down to South Carolina and pull them out. 
And hopefully, you know, we meet in the middle. So this one, you might be able to understand him. I'm not for sure. But CA? Yes, sir. Why don't you say something, Purdy? Purdy. <laughs> God bless you, Lord. It's good to be back in Pikeville County. Pikeville and Pikeville. Lord, have mercy. This is my 45th year to be here. And God has blessed me all the way. And if you got God on your side, you can be here 47 years also. And not only that, they have benefited real good. When I first come here, it was four, it was $39 a night. <laughs> you know what it is now? $167 plus tax. And that's a good, somebody's really enjoying it. I'm enjoying paying it, but I've enjoyed being here and God bless all of you. This is Hillbilly Days. I wish we had it in South Carolina. We don't. Thank you. Hey, uh, see you there? Something else. Uh, something else. Or, you know, uh, he talked about the taxes and stuff like that, you know, over the bills and all this. Well, the mayor, Jimmy Carter, here, you know, he feels sorry for you about all the money that you have to spend, all the taxes you have to pay. So maybe he can make it up to you right now. Okay. See, I'm, I'm half of the city of Piper and the city commission, we'd like to celebrate your 45 years with a sort of jug and an inscription in honor of your recognition of 45 years. And we just hope you can make another 45. And let me tell you what, who loves the Butter Bean song better than anybody? I do. Gotta love the Butter Bean song. It's my favorite. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I don't know what we didn't do without... C.A. and Wayne, I mean, it's every year, you know, they roll in here, and it's just a pleasure to see these two guys, and, and like I said, they they bring everything in here real good, so we really appreciate them and all they do. Yeah. Hello, everybody, how you doing? C.A., for 45 years, dedication to the Shriners and the Hillbillies, I'd like to give you a certificate for your 45 years here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See, yeah, that's what happens when you pay that tax money. Those rooms, they make off. Thank you, CA. I love you, man. Ray Jones, come up here. We, you know what we do? Keep the county, keep the city. Ray, keep the county, my good friend. Keep the county. Brother. I'm fine, sir. How are you? Good. On behalf of the Pike County Fiscal Court and the people of the county, I am presenting this key to T.J. LaCava of Warrington, Virginia, the Mount Carmel Lodge Number 133, the Keenest Shrine Club in Warrington, Virginia, and Hillbilly Clan Number 1. This key to Pike County. Now, as the county judge, that don't mean I can get you out of jail. Okay. <laughs> But for a small fee, I could probably help you out down the motor. <laughs> so uh, it's good to have you here as a Shriner and a Mason. I appreciate uh, you coming in and supporting this event. It's Love important it. to the children. It's important to our community. And I want to thank Jimmy for everything Jimmy's done uh, all over the years. He's instrumental in this, and uh, maybe one of these days he'll get one of these too. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> DJ? Yes, sir? I'd also like to present you something else. I have a certificate here for you. You were really great to me last year. Just there some problems, around. but you was really great to me. Really, really appreciate you. And I have a certificate for you. Thank you. For the 47th uh, Hillbilly Annual Days. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, cousin. You're welcome, cousin. <laughs> yeah. Help a brother out. Yeah. 
You know, Ray said he wouldn't uh, take any money, but I bet she'd take a campaign donation. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in. Uh, Mr. Carter, my mayor. Thank Jimmy. I'm looking for Green Carroll. Well, I just met him over here a minute ago. I didn't know. I, I didn't even know who it was. Hey, doing, Graham? Yeah. On behalf of the city of Pikeville and the city commissioners, it's Steve Hartsock, and I think I see Steve standing right over here. Pat McNamee, Allison Powers, and Bob Shirtliff, who is here somewhere. I saw him earlier. But uh, welcome to Pikeville. And you said this is your twentieth year. Wow, coming from Canada. And what did you say earlier? We were talking about. At the, at the landmark when y'all used to stay, you brought th they used to bring three buses in from Canada, and they had the whole top floor of the landmark. Landmark's never been the same since, by the way. That's, <laughs> I remember that. But on behalf of the city of Pikeville, we're going to present you the key to the city. Now, the judge says he couldn't get you out of jail. This opens one bank in town, but I can't tell you which one it is. You're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> uh, from London, Ontario, Canada, Lodge Kill Winning, number 64. Congratulations. Well, Graham, you've been here about as long as I have. And you've been really great to me also. You've been a great friend to me. Really appreciate you, especially your neighbors from up north. I would also like to present to you a certificate the 47th annual Hillbilly Days. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I would like to say one more thing. Uh, Granny, Betty, if you're watching, I want to wish you a ha early happy 81st birthday. And Dirty Ear, I, lo I love you, Papa. And he sends his regards and he tells everybody hello and have a great time. You know, uh, ain't no doubt we miss her. A lot because he's not here, but uh, hey, it's the next year, and uh, I'm sure that uh, one of these days he's going to roll back in here and do this. But, uh, I can't wait. There's so many stories that I could tell that uh, would probably get Daddy and my Daddy's not here, but probably still get him in trouble. But between the stories I've heard between Daddy and Harrod, it's, uh, it's something, and Harrod is, is something to behold. But, you know, for y'all these years we've been doing this, and we've always had this stage open with music, and you guys have been sitting here listening to the music, and what can I say? Larry Webster and Cheryl, they have been here forever. And we were talking about it earlier. I know some of his band members before, they might have done a little drinking or something, you know, earlier, but uh, they would come in here with a little bit. But Larry Webster, would you please come up here and... I know you, this stage, you own it, but, uh, man, we couldn't do this without you. And Cheryl, of course, she has to hold him up at times, but they do good. <laughs> well, thank you all. Uh, I don't know where Mayor Carter, did he leave? Uh, Jimmy, I want uh, all of you all to show your appreciation to the city of Pikeville and to UMG for this magnificent park. And it's this pretty every day of the year. The wonderful job they do. Jimmy, thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming out here and sitting and hear this music. Thank these volunteer musicians, giving them their time. We're trying to keep this old music alive. And right now it's real healthy. There's a lot of young people playing it. This, meant, this has been a major part of my life, and I love all of you. You all don't have a clue how mean this man was to my daddy and, and Harry Stratton back when he was trying to get this started. We'll talk about that later, but uh, he was really mean to him, but being mean to him, it, it made this fast for what it is, so this is good. You know, uh, we... We had Tony Lee Good here a minute ago, and, and you know, we take our money, we send it to the, the hospital, but Tony, he, he takes care of the big stuff. But Jason Baker here, 
He's here to tell you some more stuff about the Lexington Shriners Hospital, and he's kind of the guy we kind of walked the check to. And matter of fact, he's even come up here and picked up the money. So uh, great pleasure. Jason's come here a couple of years now, and he's kind of feel like the uh, part of us, I think. Get up here, baby doll. Tell us a little something. Hello, hello. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, like Jimmy said, my name's Jason Baker, and, and just like Tony, our head administrator, we're up from uh, Lexington today, and it's it's my second year, so I'm happy not to be a uh, Hillbilly Days rookie. So I know my way around. I hit my uh, favorite lemonade stand that I have now, uh, but it's just a wonderful time, and it's it's because of great people like Jimmy and all you all out there that we're able to do and provide for the families um, at, at the Lexington and all of our facilities. And um, you've heard the numbers and you've heard the dollars, but I'll tell you what I get to see every day. When I'm walking down the hall on a Tuesday to get a cup of coffee, not a great cup of coffee, but an okay office cup of coffee, I get to see the kids working so hard every day. And it's because of the support that you all provide that we can provide for those kids. But as a parent myself, what really inspires me each day is I see the look of assurance on mom and dad, grandma and grandpa's face, that their child is at, is at a place that is, that is going to provide the very best in medical care for them and provide for them all that they need. And it's because of the smiling faces out here today that that's done. So thank you all so much. Enjoy your time. Thank you for the beautiful weather here in Pikeville. Uh, enjoyed it and uh, have a great time. Thank you, Jason. You know, uh, Jordan Gibson, is he here anywhere, Jordan? He bailed out on me, but I'll tell you a little bit of something about Jordan with uh, Southeast Chamber, since he's not here. These guys work their butts off to make this festival a success. All these booths that you see around town, they have to be put in the right place, and they have to have all the accommodations that they need. Jordan and Southeast Chamber, they work their butts off all year to make this thing work, and I'm just so pleased that they do the job that they do. Without what they do, it couldn't be what it is. So I really appreciate them. And, you know, I talked to this guy earlier, and he said, you know, Jimmy, you got me last on the list. He said, you know, the time it comes to me, I ain't got nothing to say. Well, <laughs> Reggie Hickman, city manager, He's going to come up here and try to tell you a bunch of bull, but I'll tell you what. He's the one that has to clean up all the mess that the mayor creates. So just so you all will know, Reggie, he's a cleanup man if he forgets to tell you that. Reggie, uh, did I leave anything out? <laughs> no, you tell me. It's been nice being city manager. Uh, I think he probably just got me dismissed. Welcome to everybody to Pikeville. This is our chance to show our hospitality and our friendliness as a city and as an organization, including UMG and the chamber that does so much work here to make this happen. Billies have this large personality, and thank God that you do, because that large personality is so charismatic that it brings people together it helps us celebrate our culture and a culture that runs deep here in central Appalachia and in Pike County in particular. We are so thankful to have everyone here. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. We have people from all over the country here, including Canada, and we're so happy to have you all. Enjoy yourself and be safe and welcome to Pikeville. Reggie, you take care of the mayor now, you know, make sure everything's straight. You know, at this time, we're getting close to uh, the closing of our ceremony. But, you know, through the year, we lose a lot of hillbillies. We lose a lot of family members. At this time, if I could please, just have about 10 seconds of silence. And let's think about the people we have lost this past year. I know we've lost several hillbillies. But just think about the ones we've lost this year. And, I wish they were here, but give me about 10 seconds of silence and let's think about them and have them in their prayers, please.
Thank you so much. Uh, at this time, I'd like for Tommy Purvis to come up and close us out with their prayer and uh, let us get back to a lot of fun and entertainment. Tommy? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to crawl on the stage. I walked up the steps like a human being this time. Yeah, I got caught off guard a while ago. You know, we're having a lot of fun, but do you folks realize you're literally doing the Lord's work in helping these children? The Lord himself said, suffer the children to come to me, do not despise them, and do not cause them to stumble. And when we help a child in a shrine hospital, we help them literally to not stumble and to have life, and we ought to be thankful for that. We appreciate you folks coming out. I tell you what, if you gather in this, take somebody by the hand as a sign of unity that we love children and that we love the Lord, and let's be dismissed in prayer. Lord, we come to you in Jesus' name and the power of the Holy Spirit, thanking you for being with us. We thank you that you, by example, taught us to love children. Help us to love you, and as a result, love the children of this world and help one another as we help the children of Shriners Hospital. Bless this day, keep us safe, and help us to remember why we're here, and may you be honored by all of it. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Guess what? The 47th Annual Hibbley Days is officially open. Have fun, everybody. Larry Webster, it's your time, baby. How about a cellular plan with no credit check, no contracts, and most features are postpaid? Then visit Appalachian Wireless today, where your connections matter the most, and jump on Forward Pay. Take advantage of $75 off Forward Pay devices. Plans as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text. At 5 gig of data for only $29.99. At 10 gig of data for only $39.99. Or go unlimited data for only $64.99 per month with 25 gig of high speed data before slowing down. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Dina's Designs at Dry Fork is now fully stocked with thousands of vibrant flowers and supplies, all at wholesale pricing. Dina's can customize vases, wreaths, saddles, hanging pots, and flags. We have solar crosses, wind spinners, bird baths, and more. Dina has one of the area's largest selections of candleberry candles, tarts, and warmers. Watch our Facebook page for specials. There's so much to see at Dina's Designs. Highway 15 at Dry Fork of Whitesburg. Call 633-7477. It's a place you know. It's people you trust. It's welcoming, like a friend. It's a place of volunteers. A place of givers, movers, and shakers. Friday night lights and Saturday yard sales. It's the original social network. It's your community, and we're proud to be a part of it. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. No credit check, no contract, and most features are postpaid. Right now, take advantage of $75 off select Forward Pay devices and ask about our awesome plans. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I'm attorney Philip Wheeler. Being injured on the job or in a car wreck is not a laughing matter. Medical bills, lost wages, and being unable to provide for those that you love can cause financial and emotional heartache for families. Let the attorneys at Wheeler & Baker use their 33 years of combined experience to help you in your time of need. Get the law firm that always puts working families first.